What is a home sale contingency? Hi, I'm Jeff Chubb with eXp Realty. Be sure to stick around to the end to see what we're gonna do with this thousand bucks. So what is a home sale contingency? A home sale contingency is a clause in an offer that states that the execution of that said offer is only if the buyer's home goes under agreement and successfully closes. These contingencies oftentimes are used by buyers that are actually planning on using the proceeds in a house that they currently owe, own in order to buy a new one. So how does it work? It's important to remember that a home sale contingency can be structured in many different ways. But let's say a buyer needs to sell their house at, eh, let's call it 123 Main Street. The home sale contingency will be in the offer that the buyer actually extends to the seller. The offer will be like any other offer within regards to price, deposits, inspections. The only difference is, is that the actual execution and closing on that property that they're extending the offer to is based on whether the buyer's home at 123 Main Street successfully goes under agreement and closes. If the buyer's home at 123 Main Street goes under agreement by a specified date, then the contract moves forward. All is good in the world of contracts. Now, if it doesn't sell, then the contract is terminated and the deposits are released back to the buyers. Quick caveat on this one, if the seller agrees to extend that home sale contingency, they have the right to do so if the buyer wants it. Now, if you couldn't tell, these clauses, they're really here to protect the buyer, not the seller. And they're only applicable to home buyers who want or need to sell a home before they buy a new one. There are two different types of home sale contingencies that are used at different times. These contingencies are the sale and settlement contingency, and then there's just the settlement contingency. So what's the difference between these two and when is ultimately each one correctly used? If you're a buyer and your house has already gone under agreement, then you're just gonna to wanna to use the settlement contingency. Simply put, this is a contingency that protects the buyer should the sale of their house fall through for any reason. So if the buyer's home at 123 Main Street closes by the specified date in the contract that we've given to the seller, great, all is good, it remains valid, perfect world. If, however, it doesn't close, maybe that buyer needs more time, or maybe that buyer of your house, they uh, lost their job. So if it doesn't close, then you don't have those proceeds to go and buy the next house. Therefore, that contract with your home sale contingency can be terminated. Again, say if your buyer just needed a little bit more time and you relayed this to the seller and the seller agreed to give you, and therefore you can give your buyer more time, then all is good, you're given that extension, and hopefully maybe the bank can get their things together and get your buyer closed so that way you can buy the next house. A sale and settlement contingency is for the home buyer that doesn't have their house under agreement yet, or heck, maybe one that doesn't even have their house on the market yet. The offer will have a closing date that all parties have agreed to, and quite frankly, that all parties at this point are praying that they're gonna be able to stick to and that the buyer's home will sell. Generally speaking, there are specific time frames built into this home sale contingency. As an example, a buyer might have maybe a month or even two weeks to secure a buyer for their house. Should they not be able to find someone to buy that house, then the seller ultimately has a right to either extend that time period or terminate the contract. If the contract's terminated, then the deposit is released back to the buyer. Now here's where we're gonna get a little lost in the weeds. You may or may not have heard the term kickout clause being thrown out. This is a clause that essentially helps the seller mitigate some risk while putting a little pressure on the home buyer. How the kickout clause works is that the seller accepts the buyer's offer, but the seller has negotiated the right to continue to market the property looking for other suitable buyers. Should the seller find a buyer that extends them an agreeable offer, then that seller must first go back to the original buyer and give them the agreed amount of, upon amount of time which is normally 48 to 72 hours to remove their home sale contingency. So a 48 hour kickout clause would be a seller giving a buyer 48 hours to remove that home sale contingency and then a 72 hour kickout clause would be the home buyer has 72 hours to remove that home sale contingency. Now, a buyer is always gonna want a home sale contingency without this kickout clause. Sellers should always be demanding a kickout clause for any home sale contingency that they accept. Now those are the basics of home sale contingencies. 
In our next videos, we're gonna break down the pros and cons of the home sale contingency from the buyer side and then also from the seller side. There's really a lot to think about before putting to use this very useful home buying tool. I'm Jeff Chubb with eXp Realty and this $1,000 be sure to hit that subscribe button down below so that way uh, once we hit a thousand subscribers we're going to give this thousand dollars to the ASPCA so drop a hammer on that subscribe button let's save some cats and dogs should you need me you can get me at 617-480-2600 or by email at jeff at boston2.com until next time thanks for watching